What's happening, everybody? I'm Brink Young, host of the Brink TV Music You Live Countdown. And Brink TV is now accepting indie artist music video submissions for the countdown. So what are you waiting on? Go ahead, send us a message, and we'll message you back with the info. Make sure you check us out each and every Tuesday night, Comcast Channel 31, Memphis at 9 p.m. We also have live stream available at BrinkTVShow.com. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brink Young, coming straight out of them South Memphis slums, and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in the South. Of course, all the trophies in the background, you see all of them talking about Brink TV. Now, I mean this when I say this. Do not adjust your TV set. We got a familiar face kicking it with us, but it's our first time on the Icy White Couch. We talking about Miss Lavish Lady 901 Period. with your fine <laughs> ass. Broke niggas make her sick. Throw up. How you doing? Hey, first I got to say thank you for coming back on the show. You know, it was a long, long time ago yes. when I first met you. We were backstage at the Gene Wine and Friends concert, matter of fact. You know, I right. almost said Juvenile. She, <laughs> yes. she, got a sing, she got a single with Juvenile. We're yeah. going to talk about it. But it was backstage at the Gene Wine and Friends concert. Yeah. Amazing time. When I met you, you was a model and an actress, but now you're an artist, too. Right. You got a lot right. under your belt, so right. let's go ahead and get into it. But like I said, thanks for coming back on the show. Thank you, Brink. And I just want to tell you again, I am so proud of you as well, because listen, South Memphis, we go all the way back. I am so proud of you again, and I'm happy to be here. I'm so fucking happy to be here. Hey, she a superstar. <laughs> she love it here. Period. I got to say that. I'm a superstar. I love it. Here. That's exactly. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, like I say, she got her own lingo, man, and I love it. Everything about you is just so dope. It's so polished, you know what I'm saying? Because like I say, just me watching you from being a model and an actress, but now you're an artist. But the crazy part about it is like you came in as an artist hard yeah, like very much so. you know how people got to go through that 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 beginning stage where they kind of whack a little bit right. you know <laughs> you right. go through that like you got all kind of cheat codes like i gotta know like where did this music come from like where did the, the 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 idea to do music where did that come from well you know after model well while modeling and okay. acting i was doing celebrity pr so okay. i was doing a publicist i was actually doing my brothers putting my brother in position Can't heartbreak right yeah i was actually putting him in position or whatever but i always been a trap rapper like if i'm rapping like any of anybody yeah. people always have thought i was a rapper because you know just my gesture yeah. i don't know ghetto or whatever <laughs> have you whatever you want to call it it just always been in me and i tell people um, God take you through certain things to get to where you supposed to be. Like you can do, try to do a million different things, and we both have been in this entertainment our whole life. Yes, I was heavy on the modeling. I actually was doing really, really good. Signing LA to in my Beverly Hills or whatever, it was good. But it wasn't my calling. You know what I'm saying? Acting, I did the same thing. I was successful, but it wasn't my calling. Did the celebrity PR, it got me a lot of network and connections and stuff like that. So I became the artist myself. And like I say again, I tell people all the time, you will only be mad successful in what you are called to do. So that's why it explains why, why I came in so hard. Why it went in so Man, like that? Cause I, I was destined for this. Yeah, I was destined for this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's how I put that timeline or whatever. And I just tell everybody this watching this show, like pray and ask God to show you your calling because that's the only thing you will be successful at is your calling. What's meant for you is for you. And so. That's just what it is. I'm a superstar. I love it here. That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> man. Like I say, my girl, she's definitely putting it down. She's doing her thing. Now, of course, we got to jump into them singles because, yes, like I go. say, I did slip up and mention it. Got the joint. We talking about Crack It That Ass featuring Juvenile on the right, remix. Yes. Wait a minute, man. How did this happen? How did it happen? Listen, okay. Let me. Y'all want to know the real story? Right. Or do you want me lie? <laughs> y'all want me lie or no, lie? No lie. cap. No capping for count. No capping. Do no capping. Okay, <laughs> no, no capping. But nah, for real. Um, I actually know a lot of people that knows him, but okay. it didn't even go like that because you know I've been in this game a long time. I know Turk. I know a lot of people that's connected to him or whatever. But to be honest with you, they had already been watching me, mm. and I went to uh to to Jude's manager, 
and he had already seen my cover art. He sent me his number. I text him. The next morning, Lavish, Lavish, come right now, come right now, come right now. I'm like, what? Dude. So I was super excited, and shout out to Juvenile, shout out to Juvenile, y'all. I was, I was super excited, um, because I got so much. I always knew that Crack was a hit single, yeah. but I got a lot of hate off Crack too. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole lot of hate off Crack. Not it's just like, oh, you will have some other female artist. Oh, I'm gonna I'm show you what some real music is. Okay. They probably do trap music, right? But see, I do corp. I do hood music, but I do corporate music too. Yeah. Because I'm a corporate bitch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, I was super super excited or whatever, and um. He was like, lavish. He called me, which I'm still going to post this recording. This recording will get posted once we get through, you know what I'm saying, once we re- re-release the record. Right. Um, so he was like, lavish, do you not know how many people have tried to remake my records and sound just like me? He asked me, lavish. I'm, I already wrote my verse right now. <laughs> do you hear me? Yeah. I was so excited. Uh, it was just, just that coming from a legend himself telling me that I'm a superstar telling me to never give up telling me to keep going and for a legend the first legend to tell me this you know what I'm saying it was just amazing and he had already wrote the fucking verse it was already lit it was already <laughs> lit I didn't ask him to write a verse I didn't he said lavish when he talked to me and gave me my props and he was telling me he was like lavish so many people try to remake my uh, remake my records it's like he went through 10, 10 people yeah I was the last person record that he heard yeah but it's like he didn't hear none of them on the record. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He jumped on my record immediately. We he got the work immediately. He Juve jumped on that record and sent me that record right back. And he just kept telling me like lavish, you are gonna blow more than you ever think because you are super talented. You brought your own original originality to the record because he was like everybody trying to sound like him. Yeah. They don't try to bring their own originality to the record. That you can't remake a record and sound like the person who original record it is. Exactly. exactly. So that's for again for all my artists. You can't remake people records and try to sound like them. No, bring yourself. And you know my crazy goof ass. I got a lot of personality. <laughs> <laughs> so I bring my personality to my record. Yeah. And I'm a freak bitch. Like so I'm gonna put that in my records too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Now, the crazy thing is, like, I've seen you perform this song, of course, online, you know, several different venues, man. And it seemed like all the ladies just bust it all the way open to that song. They do. So that's how you know you got a certified banger when that happens. When when you get those results, you got to hit song. Right. Facts. Thanks. All right, so Most hopefully, definitely. you know, y'all cook up a video for it, you know, once everything. Oh, we already you know. started shooting. Oh, uh, hey, we hey. already started shooting, so we started the first part already, and we're going to go to New Orleans and finish the rest. So okay. we're definitely listening. The record would definitely be out sometime at the end of November. I mean, I said November. December. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Coming soon. All right, Coming so let's soon. go ahead. Let's get into the other singles that you okay. got out, because, of course, you got Superstar. Right. And then you got the other one, that big mm, energy. <laughs> I mean, let's talk about them. Yes. So, um, Superstar is another one of my singles, y'all. Superstar had to come out because I'm a motherfucking superstar. I'm superstar. I love it here. <laughs> period. Y'all the fuck going on on ever play with, period. But anyway, no, listen. So, Superstar is one of my singles. Um, Doing my shows, they love Superstar. They love fucking superstar they love they record they shake plenty of ass <laughs> plenty of dicks plenty of every fucking thing Dig a pussy, dig a pussy. <laughs> it's just so lit and so i perform another record called no broke niggas because we don't date the broke we don't fuck with the broke don't never fuck with a broke person because that's just bad energy. Oh, yeah. Broke energy is the worst. It's the like, worst. Shit, it bring you down all the way. All the way, bro. You broke. Just listen. We're not going to do that one. So, that's another record. They go crazy. Because on No Broke Niggas, I went in on yeah. them. Yeah. Like, literally, I went in. So, they feel. That's a record. They just feel like, damn. This bitch lit as hell. And I'm telling you the sequence of how I started my shows. 
So I would start with superstar. I would go into no broke niggas and then I go into big energy. <laughs> because you know what? That's just what it is. Yeah. And I let they ass know. Bring all the big dicks to the motherfucking stage. <laughs> Cause we do not date little dicks. Cause listen, we don't date broke niggas. Mm-hmm. And we don't want no motherfucking name no little ass. What if we gonna do with you? <laughs> but what, what what are we doing? That's not what we you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the order of their operation. I got to say, you are actually the second person that's ever came on the show and said that. Like, just flat out said that. The other person, she was a, uh, she's a, actually a porn star. Okay. You know, and she like, you know, even if he a good guy, make good money, she still ain't messing with him. Right. If he got the, you know. I a, mean, what's she going to do with him? But no. taking money. Be taking money, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? So, Mrs. Phoebe, if you watch it. Miss hey. Phoebe, listen, 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 listen. Take that, this nigga money and that, leave. That right there. Take his money and leave. Miss Phoebe, listen. I'm lavish. How are you? Nice to meet you. Take that nigga money and leave him. And, bitch, make sure you go drown, down low. No broke niggas because that will help you. Don't feel sorry. Just take the money and leave. It don't matter if you got a little digit. Take it and leave. And then <laughs> go fuck a nigga with a big dick and some money. Hey, we got a real how-to video going on right now on Brink TV. So let's go ahead and uh, transition because, you know, since we talk about money, one thing that's definitely bringing home the bacon is that OnlyFans that you got, girl, was popping with it. What's going on? So I love my OnlyFans, but I just want want y'all to know the truth. I don't be on my OnlyFans like that. I really don't. Um... My OnlyFans is based off business only. Okay. Don't think you're going to go to my OnlyFans. Think you finna see fucking and sucking and this big ass fat put this pussy and this big ass fat ass. But bitch, you are not. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Period. <laughs> not in the way that you niggas will want to see it. Right. You ain't finna see me bent over a s**t on my knees. I do that. I, do, I definitely do those things. I do. I do those. I do very shit. Just not on camera. Just not on camera. Well, I let my nigga record me, <laughs> but I'm not recording it for you strange motherfuckers. So just not on the internet is what Just not saying. on the internet. But yeah. with my nigga, I don't give a damn. He yeah. can record me all the fuck he want. I'm single right now, so that don't matter. But when I'm not single. Okay? <laughs> but anyways, um, no, my, my OnlyFans is based on business only. Yeah. Business only, period. And you can see a lot of behind the scenes from my videos that I won't post on Instagram. Right. Um, And different pictures, di- different sexual pictures from my photo shoots and different things like that because I am an artist and I put everything together. Right. So please, if you go on my OnlyFans, Subscribe thinking you finna see some ass and butt porn shit. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> so I really want you, but they know that now, but they right. still like, yeah. it's lit. Yeah. I'm a lit bitch. So it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? One and thing, I, one thing I gotta switch it up just a little bit. Okay. Since we kind of talking about the sexy pictures, so you 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 all natural, man. All this is real. Yes. Ain't no Dr. Miami ain't touched that fan or none, Reed, man. You no damn well. I mean, I'm we, all natural. We, yeah. We gotta drive that narrative because there's so yeah. many females. They out here getting the BBLs and all that. But right. I mean, you you been had it. Right. Been sitting on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We right. gotta we gotta continue to drive that narrative. Right. Everybody ain't gotta do that. You ain't got to. Right, no. I am one hundred percent no feel to all natural big fix. If I walk out this door right now, that's what I'm known for. But being, but I mean, like you know, you are sitting on it. I mean, could you stand up and could the people oh, see it? I mean, the, y'all I mean, know I love see, the show we, 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 see, we don't do this on Bring TV. This is brand new. Hey, look, we're talking about exclusive. It's happening right now. Bring TV. Yeah, we live. We live. We live. We live. This is what we do. This is what we do. See, we are live in the motherfucking building, bitch. Uh, only on Bring TV, baby. Only on Bring TV. Only on Bring TV. And the ad, I'm gonna show y'all my ad. That's one thing I'm gonna do. Where is it? Which camera? There we go. This camera right here. Pow. 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 Go. All go. Natural. Yeah. All natural. Period. Like I say, only on Brink TV. You will only see this on the Icy White Couch in Period. Memphis, Atlanta, Mobile, Alabama, Period. and all over the internet. Period. So let's go ahead and get into back to the music if we can. Okay. You working on an EP. So you decide I that am. you're going to, you know, cook it up and release it to the people. Let's talk about it. So first. Like I said before, I am releasing singles at this time. Okay. And then I'm going to release my EP because my records 
are all hit records. And when you have all hit records, you got to make them singles. Yeah. Me and my team, we have went through these numerous of means over and over. And we cannot, every my team, oh, shout out to my team. I have a <laughs> wonderful team. All God built. And they are so overly honest with me as I'm honest with them. And we, it's no, it's not one record. You know how some people, EPs, you can go through one record, but you got to skip them records. Go to the, the next. Yeah, See, my yeah. records, you can't do this. Yeah. You just going to go boom, 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 boom. Non-stop. Non-stop. And this is no over-exaggerating me trying to be arrogant, hype myself up. None of that. These are big facts. Yeah. Period. Hey, we talking about non-stop flights. No layovers over here. Make sure y'all check out the EP. When Period. could the people expect it? Like, we going to be 2022 or for the so year So, the EP, you can it's probably expect to have it January 1st. Okay. Yeah, because I have currently um, two records that I'm about to release right now, which is Big Dick Energy, and I remade a, a young Dolph, you know, just rest in peace to Dolph. Um, shout out to the entire Paper Route Empire, and I wasn't as close as them or whatever, but Dolph was definitely with my music every time i will post my music every time i will post a show doll showed me mad love mad 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 love and we was definitely gonna get something cooking yeah you know what i'm saying so yeah with that all right, so let's go ahead, just kind of change it up. Definitely got to say RIP to the big homie, yeah. Young Dolph. Like I yeah. said, you changed lives, plenty of lives, Period. man. But let's go ahead and talk about the kiddo, the future NBA star. Okay. You know, how he doing, man? He's great. A yeah. hot ass mess. Do you hear me? <laughs> A hot mess. Yeah. But he's great. He's uh he's going to Houston okay. soon to play basketball. Okay. Um. He's doing amazing with his basketball career. He's six three now. Damn, really? Yes. See, last time I saw him, he was had to be five something. Yes, he was like he was little, 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 yeah, little, yeah. yeah. He was probably a little baby, but yeah. no. It was He's so funny. Now. It was so funny. Like when I saw him, you know, he recognized me. He's like, "You, you, you the dude to interview my mama. Yeah. You, you want to have my mama on TV?" And I was like, "Yeah, you know." Okay, who is your mom? Because I didn't know, you <laughs> right, know. But right, right. definitely a cool young man, yeah, you know. One thing I did see, it was kind of funny though. It was his birthday party, and then can can we talk about yes, that? Yes, we can talk let's, about let's that. Let's talk I was about not that. It, it was funny as hell because of course she gave him the gifts, gave him you know money and all that stuff. But it was one gift you gave my bust out laughing. It was them rubbles. Them damn cones. Gave him them rubbles. I gave him, he got a new Camaro for his birthday. Okay. So I know what you're going to go do in his new Camaro. You're not going to bring no fucking keys back to my house. So yeah. I'm going to be the first person to buy you the biggest box of cones <laughs> I can find in the fucking store. And I gave him to him in front of all of his friends. Yeah. And it was so funny because they yeah. was like, oh, bro, you see, you yeah. know, and he was so <laughs> shame faced. It was funny as hell. Yes, he was so shame faced. But I don't play. You're not bringing that foolishness back to me. Yeah. You're going to have your ass on the corner, your career over. Yeah. By yourself. Don't ask me for shit. I I don't I don't want to see Granny lavish like that's ain't not no Granny that's nothing. not ain't popping no shit. that's not popping I don't want to see no, that no yeah. that is not I'm glad <laughs> he got his head on straight cause he know yeah that my mama do not fucking play yeah so he knows that so you got any shows anything coming up any events or anything yes shout out to my lovely booking manager that's sitting here um we got a full plate of shows december january that's coming up of course november is done yeah or whatever but baby fourth quarter shh, pressure over. very much so pressure Straight we got pressure. a lot of pressure a lot a lot of pressure a lot a lot of pressure okay all right, so of course you guys will be able to you know follow up with that on her social yes. media go ahead get it to the people instagram at miss lavish lady 901 and Twitter, Lavish Lavish 901. So, yeah. That's it. That's it. But one thing I got to talk about, you recently won an award. What award did you I win, did. young lady? Of course. I won Best Female Fucking Artist of the Year, period. And it's, I mean, it's only one way. It is my way. I'm a superstar. I love it here, period. And I keep saying it because put that shit in your brain. Like, I really want y'all to put that shit. Like, dissect it, bitch, like a book. <laughs> Put it in your f***ing house. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, please remember that because 
This time next year, we'll be at the BT. These are big facts. I love it. I love it. Last thing, this is my favorite part of the show. We got two cameras. This camera right over here, that's your camera. Okay. I need you to look into this camera and tell the people why they should follow you, why they should be at your next show, why they should download your EP. When it come out, go. Listen, first of all, y'all should follow me because I'm that bitch. I've been that bitch. You probably already follow me if you don't follow me, if that makes sense. Okay? And I don't mean to sound arrogant, but facts are just facts. I'm, a, I'm, I'm that bitch. You should follow me. And second... My music, I make shit but hit records. I'm blowing the fuck up in real life, and I'm a real motherfucking superstar. And these are facts, and I'm an entertaining ass bitch. I am a funny, silly, goofy ass bitch. I, 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 <laughs> period. The fuck? And listen, my shows, let me tell y'all some of my shows. My shows be so motherfucking live. We be lit. Like, when I perform, y'all, I feel like I'm in a, I'm in heaven. Like, I just be on a whole, in a whole nother world. We be so live in my shows. Like, y'all just have to see them. You gotta have to come to my shows. You have to come to my page and see my shows if you can't make it to a show. But, like, people just love my energy. They love to see me perform. When I go to a show, they be ready. We're left. Because yeah. they just ready to turn the fuck <laughs> up. Ready to see some ads. Ready to turn up. And just really ready to hear some good m music and have a good time. My EP will be dropping in January. And Big Energy, my singlet, is about to drop. And, of course, my remake of Young Dolph. I really want to tell y'all the record that I remade, but I'm not. You just have to wait and see. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. Instagram, and Miss Lavish Lady 901, period. Coming soon. Like I say, thank you for coming back on the show. First time on the Icy White Cow. We yes. had to do it like this. Period. We're talking about 100% all natural. Grade period. A. Man, y'all saw period. it. You might want to rewind <laughs> this interview if you're watching on YouTube. Watch it again yes. and watch it again and tell your friends and share it. Do that. But like Please. I said, thanks again for coming back. Thank you, Brink. No doubt. With that being said, now back to more Brink TV.